Hi everyone, welcome to Housework Hangover. Today's video is all about money saving tips for housewives. We all have financial goals to go on a holiday destination, to buy a house, to buy a car. Everything depends on our financial conditions and everything is different from family to family. But in order to achieve them, the only tip is to save money. But how do we do that? So today's video, I will be sharing a lot of tips with you that will help you save money and achieve these financial goals. I have put together a lot of videos, my personal videos and photographs with you to share. Uh, instead of sitting face to face and talking to you, uh, probably I thought that it's boring. My first tip is to unplug all your electronics at night and it saves energy and money. Like dishwasher, microwave and washing machine. Not fridge because it saves our food and acorn in summer. And my second tip is, and this is top of all, is to prioritize on what you want to save. During shopping, for example, you go to a grocery store, you find a lot of brands. And uh, instead of buying a branded item, just buy a generic item. Saves you a few bucks. When you want to save, you want to think, do you really need these Zara jeans or is it okay to buy from H&M? You would definitely find something similar to it. The point is, are you willing to save? And number three, go shopping only when you are in need and stick to your budget. If you thought of buying two dresses for yourself or for your kids, allow only two. And usually shop after holidays, like after Diwali or after New Year, usually prices drop at this point in time. And bonus tips for shopping because we ladies love shopping. On tight budget, pick only sale items. Needless to say, shop around only sale items. Do not take kids along. Your plans will never ever work out with them as it's hard to say no to them. It's better to be alone. Don't go with your friends or family, relatives when you don't want to shop. It's always tempting to buy something new, some new styles and it's even hard to hold back. When alone, you can stick to your choice, your budget and most importantly, you're satisfied. Number four, you can sell the items that you don't need anymore like kids cycles, old fans, toys, beds in good condition online. There are so many online portals. You're earning here. That's important. Number five, cut down on dining out. Saves a lot of money. You can cook your own food at home plus hygiene. And once in a while, it's okay to celebrate and lunching out. Decide how, how often do you want to do uh, with your family. Is it a month or only on birthdays or anniversaries? Depends on your family and how much you want to save. Number six is all about children's entertainment. I understand we want to do our best and give them best, however, not at the cost of our budget. If you think kids don't understand your financial conditions, you're wrong, they do. However, they also need to know that they have weekly pocket money so that they can spend on something, some healthy food. You bringing them a big dollhouse will give same excitement and pleasure of you taking them to a children's park. So these are my uh, personal videos that I'm sharing with you and uh, my children are playing soccer, join them later. For them a surprise is a surprise, it's just not based on weight of the toy. Play soccer with them, do more outdoors as we did in our childhood. Saves money, saves health. Seventh tip, no cold drinks and no junk food. Not for kids, not for you. Trust me, you try this out and see how much money you save. Stop buying them and kids will stop consuming them. Healthy saving, isn't it? Number eight is to say no to credit cards. Take cash with you instead. Then you cannot overspend on anything that you want to buy. And there will be no credit card debts or a complaint from husband. But if you still after reward points, then go ahead and do a thoughtful spend. Number nine, do a price comparison of items that you often need and choose the right grocery store. We often spend about one-fourth of our income on groceries, so let it be a cheaper option. Nowadays, we have a lot of online stores that deliver our food at our doorsteps, which is a kids-free option as well. Plus, you can also keep checking on the prices, on the sale drops, on sales, etc. So that's a good thing to save money. Number 10 is to avoid mates, no house help needed because they take salaries and we don't want to spend money, so we want to save on that. Do your household chores or by yourself. It saves you health and also it's a good exercise for you. I hope all these tips were useful to you in some or the other kind. And if it did, please click like and subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching guys. I appreciate your time.
Thank you.